guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. We are stuck in quarantine at our house and just putting some lotion on. Um, just like everybody else in most places and we're just, you know, we're healthy but we're, uh, it's, some days are easier than others. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, today I'm going to share with you five tips for beautiful skin. Um, this is all stuff that I share with my clients. Um, I have a beauty consultant business where people can hire me to come into their homes or virtually to teach them how to do makeup. Um, so this is all like insider stuff that I share with them. Everything mentioned in the video today will be linked in the description box below so that you can easily find it. Um, I went full glitter today. Right? Isn't that pretty? I just love this palette. It's a So Jaded palette by ColourPop. Love it. Nothing will brighten your mood more than putting some glitter on your face, but keeping pajamas on your lower half. My number one tip for beautiful skin is take off your makeup at the end of the day. A lot of people that I know do not take off their makeup necessarily every single time before bed, but it's just so not good for your skin to leave your makeup on while you sleep and every single night. There's so many different ways and so many different types of makeup remover. It's easy to like get lost in what is good for your skin and what isn't. Um, I personally don't like makeup wipes. I feel like they, uh, they're not good for the environment. They don't last very long. They dry out quickly. You need to replace them all the time. I just don't think that they do that great of a job. So um, just know that there's a lot of alternatives to makeup wipes specifically. Um, my favorite makeup removing, here's my bucket right here. My favorite makeup removing product right now is by Cetaphil and it is an oil free makeup remover. It's pretty inexpensive and this is probably the best makeup remover that I've ever used. I always use it on one of my makeup removing towels together. They're like such a dream team. I'll link both of these below, but I just get everything off of my face and then I wash my face after that a couple times. Um, if you have really a lot of makeup on your face, like today, I probably will go in with a cleansing balm, which this is the Clinique Take the Day Off. I have had this one for so long. I wonder if it's actually expired. Probably gonna use this one today because I went heavy on the glitter and just to like get everything off my skin, but I just feel like it's too much for my skin to use a balm every single day. It, I, I almost feel like it irritates my eyes, but I do use this once in a while. I actually filmed a video recently of my daughter doing my makeup and I really needed to get everything off so I went ahead and used something like this. Um, well, I used this one exactly, but there's also another one by Neutrogena that I really wanna try. I've heard really good things about. It is the Neutrogena Cleansing Balm. Wait, I wrote down what it was called. It's called the Neutrogena Melting Balm. So that is next on my list. This one's actually almost all gone, so that is what I would purchase next. And a bonus tip when you remove your makeup, um, I mentioned this quickly before, but that doesn't count as washing your face. So you still wanna go ahead and wash your face after that and then wash your face again. You should wash your face two times when you take off your makeup. One will wash away the makeup remover and the excess makeup on your skin and one will actually clean your skin. Sounds crazy, but believe me. My number two tip for beautiful skin is be gentle with the skin on your face. Don't pull and don't tug and don't rub too roughly or aggressively on your skin. The face, you the, the skin on your face is more delicate, particularly around your eyes. So if you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, good morning, and you like rub, rub, rub your eyes, you know, it feels good, but it's not gonna make your face look good. That's gonna give you dark circles for the rest of the day. This sort of carries on with everything that you're doing with your face when you're putting on your makeup, when you're washing your face, when you're exfoliating, when you're using your makeup remover. You never wanna rub really hard and tug and pull on the skin on your face because again, it's delicate and it, it gets damaged easily and you don't wanna promote wrinkles. You want wrinkles to take as long as possible to get onto your skin. One thing that's really good for your skin are the beauty rollers. I feel like those are so popular right now. It started, I think, with the Nurse Jamie roller. I forget what that's called. It's called the Uplifting Massaging Roller and this is on my Mother's Day wish list. I had a different version of this roller that was not as expensive and not as nice and it broke, but I really feel like it helped my skin. And it's just this roller that rolls your skin. You wanna go up and out. It definitely helps in firming your skin, in energizing your skin, in uh, helping to fight lines and wrinkles. And it's something that you can see the effect of right away when you use it. So it just can sort of plump up areas that you want plumped up and just smooth you out. It just is like such a great product. I really encourage you to either get something like that or at least look a little bit more into it. 
My number three step for beautiful skin is to moisturize. Everybody should be moisturizing their skin. I moisturize my skin every morning and every night before I go to bed. Um, whenever I wash my face, my skin is just, it just tells me like, hey, I'm thirsty, please moisturize me. Everybody should be moisturizing their skin. It helps fight fine lines and wrinkles. It'll help with your acne. It will help your skin from flaking. It will help your skin from peeling. Even if you have oily skin, they have moisturizers out there for you. You should be moisturizing your skin. It just helps everything look better. And really putting makeup on dry skin does not look as good as it could. I personally love, 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 I use this every single day. This is the Versed. The Versed line at Target is so good. But this one is called Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. Um, it has green tea extract and aloe leaf juice. I just love this packaging. I think it's so cute. It's kind of hard to see because the light's bright. But this is it. Um, this is actually, this specifically is something I recommend to my clients all the time. I use this after I wash my face every morning and I also use it again before I put on my makeup as a primer because as it's drying down, it's like slightly tacky and it's just, my foundation sits on it so beautifully. This is a really, really great product. The consistency of it is like, it's called a gel cream and it, it is a gel cream. So if you ever use it, you'll see. Um, I think they actually have samples of this at Target now. So it's definitely worth checking out. I really like this and it's pretty inexpensive. Whenever I need a little bit more moisture in my skin, specifically after I exfoliate or um, in the winter months when it's really cold here in Michigan, I love this little trick. This is by California Baby and this is actually a Calend Calendula cream it's called. I have to order this special on Amazon and it's for babies, but I love this stuff. It feels so good on your skin. It's full of good ingredients. It smells amazing. Any skin problem that I'm having, this helps me so much. I absolutely love this product. Um, I'll link it below. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Amazon. Yeah. Okay. I absolutely love this product. Another thing I wanted to share with you was this multi-purpose jelly. I don't know if you know who Candy Johnson is, but I feel like everybody should know who she is. She is a fantastic YouTuber who's taught me so much about makeup, but she posted on her Twitter one day um, talking all about this product and how you should slather your skin, your face skin every single night in this product. And she looks amazing, so I believed her. Um, I ordered it and it's like this thick, sort of like a petroleum jelly kind of a product. Um, the first night I put it on, it was really thick and I didn't necessarily like how it felt on my skin, but the next morning I woke up and oh my gosh, my skin looked so good. So if you can stand having this on your skin, it's just super thick, then go for it. This is some really good stuff. I feel like this is pretty inexpensive too. I will also link this below. My number four tip to beautiful skin. Now, wait a minute, let me pause right here. There are lots of things you can do for beautiful skin. There are lots of different ways to make your skin look good. I am just highlighting five that I really like, um, five that I wrote down that I thought perhaps people didn't know. Um, I can come back with more. If anyone is interested in hearing more, just let me know in the comments below. Let's keep going. My number four tip to beautiful skin, I feel like a lot of women are very resistant to, and it's shave your face. You have to shave your face. Mm -hmm. Shaving your face is the same thing as dermaplaning your face and what that means is it removes the whole first layer of dead skin from your face. I use a product like this. Where are you? I have these little guys from Amazon um, and you hold your skin taut and you go like this dry on dry skin and you just shave your face. And you can see when you do it, all of like the little pieces of skin sort of pile up at the end with you, along with your little baby hairs. And once you're all finished, you brush everything away. Like you go everywhere, girlfriend. You go all over the place. You wanna go all over town. You get in here. Don't go underneath your eyes because the skin there is extra thin. But you just wanna just carefully around your hairline, careful around your eye. Don't shave off your eyebrow. Your skin will feel so good afterwards. I promise you. You can go to a professional and do dermaplaning. Um, I feel like that's kind of popular right now, but I prefer to do it myself because I like to do it kind of often. After I do it, the way that my makeup sits on my face is so beautiful. I can tell the difference immediately. Like I did it this morning and then I put on my foundation and I felt like, ugh, it just looks so good. It just looks better. 
One thing to remember is if you have a lot of cystic acne or if you have any sores on your skin, you definitely should not be dermaplaning. Um, you just follow the guidelines of your dermatologist then obviously. Uh, this is one that I got from Amazon and I don't actually love this one. It was a little bit cheaper than the one that I normally get called the Tinkle. I will link that one down below and I just, I use them a couple of times and then I recycle them and I get a new pack. I usually get three in a pack. This is life changing and I absolutely love this and I want people to stop being so resistant and just give it a shot. Your hair will not grow back thicker. It will not grow back more coarse. It will not grow back darker. Okay. Trust me. The last tip I want to talk about today for beautiful skin is a lovely silk pillowcase. <laughs> Um, I ordered this two pack of pillowcases so that I could have a silky pillowcase. It's not, I don't think it's real silk. It's just, it's nice and it's silky and it's just really, really pretty and beautiful. They do have like real silk pillowcases, but like those are really pricey. So this is sort of like a knockoff to a silk pillowcase. It sounds a little bit ridiculous, but if you think about yourself while you're sleeping with your regular pillows, the friction you create when you move around on your pillow at night when it's not a beautiful pillow like this, it's not good for your skin. It promotes wrinkling on your face. It promotes fine lines. It's just not, it's not great. So if you can snuggle up with something like this, it's so good. Not to mention it's so good for your hair. It makes your hair just slip right through so there's no tangling. I got this for my daughter who just turned eight recently. Um, I got her a different color to match her bed and I feel like it's helped her hair so much. She gets a lot of tangles and we brush them out and it's like this whole big thing, a big giant episode. But since she's been sleeping on these pillow cases, it has made a tremendous difference. And that is it for my five tips, you guys. I wanted to share these things with you. I thought maybe you could implement them while we're all stuck inside of our houses. Again, I hope you all are healthy. I hope you all are safe. And that's it for my video here. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, if you'd like to. Give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. Um, and mm -hmm. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey, Ab. Any way you can be a little more quiet? Thanks. Now, it started with the no. So, my. Okay, stop, stop. This is a calendula. I. Full <laughs> skin is to moisturize your skin. Everybody should be moisturizing. I need that dog to stop snoring. Comments section down below. Selfies. I painted my nails just before this video and I look bad.